it's time to begin the spring cleanup at home, and your public works department is ready to help with a number of special events to get the job done. Well, we like to offer special events during the springtime because we feel it's perfect timing with spring cleaning. Uh, residents stack up a a lot of items throughout the winter time and fall time and it's a good opportunity when the weather breaks for residents to uh, bring those items to the DPW and know that they're getting disposed of properly. So I'm happy to say we have five events that are spread out throughout the spring and we try to uh, coordinate them with the best way possible to start going through your home. So first things first is tax season, documents, uh, it's fresh in everybody's mind. So we want to give people the opportunity to safely bring their uh, documents that they want safely destroyed. They don't have to worry about where the documents are going once they leave their hand. They can be destroyed uh, right in front of them uh, at their own discretion and can start cleaning out those papers out of their home. The second event scheduled and the DPW's biggest is the Household Hazardous Waste Day, which takes place on April 17th. All of our residents, it seems as though there's just the things that they don't know what to do with. They don't want to pour it down the drain, so it sits in their cabinet. We definitely don't want anybody to pour these items down the drain. We want to them to bring them to us. We have a specifically trained company in handling these hazardous materials. They will sort, separate, and dispose of them properly. Any material that can be recycled will be recycled and redistributed back into uh, standard commerce or industry. But uh, all of these items that residents bring on this day, they can rest assured knowing that they will not end up in our rivers, lakes, or streams, or add to landfill volume. The list of acceptable items for the event is vast and includes paint and paint products, pesticides, batteries, propane cylinders, corrosives, oil, and much more. The list of things you want to avoid bringing include air conditioning units, explosives, controlled substances, and standard household trash. But what if you have a container in the garage that's unlabeled and you can't identify it? We don't want them to just say, well, I don't know what to do with it, and then put it in their garbage can or put it down their drain. I'd rather them bring it here. We can identify what it is or the, the ERG, the company that's doing the work, they can identify what it is and then get it to its right resting place. The last thing I would want somebody to do is just assume that it's safe and then try to dispose of it in their own way and then it creates a bigger problem down the road. Both of these events take place on their designated dates from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the DPW facility on 7218 Mile and are for residents only. Uh, we do check identification at the event and verify residency status in the city of Sterling Heights. Now let's just say you don't specifically live in the city, however your parents do, or your grandparents do, and you're helping them clean out their space. Bring something that identifies that you are associated with the city of Sterling Heights. We want to help, so please just bring that identification with you or some sort of residency status with you, and we will absolutely do our best to make sure you're taken care of. Once again, Shred Day is on April 10th, and Household Hazardous Waste Day is on April 17th. Both events will be held at the DPW facility on 7218 Mile, located just west of Van Dyke.